what kinds of aircraft are utilized for the destruction of submarines and out of dangerous circumstances with huge numbers of personnel or heavy loads in all weather conditions? The answer is a big, highly armed helicopter with two powerful engines, MH-60 Seahawk. Hello everyone, welcome back to US Military Power Channel. Today's episode you get to know is about the MH-60 Seahawk helicopter. The MH-60 Seahawk is a multi-mission helicopter operated by the US Navy and also known as Romeo. It's the most capable naval helicopter available today, designed to operate from frigates, destroyers, cruisers, and aircraft carriers. The primary tasks of the MH-60R Seahawk are anti-submarine warfare and anti-surface warfare. This helicopter has torpedoes and missiles for assault, as well as the ability to track and locate submarines and surface vessels. The other missions are search and rescue, combat search and rescue, vertical resupply, medical evacuation, and the insertion and removal of special troops. The Seahawk has modern mission systems and sensors. It's equipped with a FLIR turret located on the nose, sophisticated airborne active sonar, and multi-mode search radar. Automatic periscope detection and discrimination is possible with its multi-mode search radar. It also has sauna buoys that are launched from the air. However, a magnetic anomaly detector was taken out of service. Data is transmitted via an advanced airborne fleet data link. The Seahawk is powered by two General Electric T700 GE401C turboshaft engines delivering 1,890 shaft horsepower, each coupled to a four-bladed main rotor and four-bladed tail rotor. The tail rotor is offset to the starboard side of the aircraft and used to stabilize forward flight. This arrangement provides a top speed of 170 miles per hour with a range out to 520 miles and a service ceiling of 12,000 feet. A rate of climb of 1,650 feet per minute is reported. Depending on the production model, the Seahawk is also cleared to haul up to 9,000 pounds of cargo under its fuselage, as well as 4,000 pounds in its cabin. A standard crew for the MH-60 is one pilot, one co-pilot, and two tactical air crewmen, depending on mission. This helicopter is operated by a crew of four in anti-submarine warfare role and crew of five in anti-surface warfare role. It can also accommodate additional passengers. The history of the MH-60 Seahawks construction started in 1970. The US Navy started working to improve the SH-2F's capabilities and integrate it more thoroughly with shipboard armament systems. The Navy employed the SH-2 Sea Sprite as the platform for the light airborne multi-purpose system Mark I avionics suite for maritime combat and a backup search and rescue capability. The Naval Air Development Center created the LAMPS MK-2 suite as a result of developments in sensor and avionic technology. Then the Navy conducted a competition to develop the LAMPS MK-3 concept. The LAMPS MK-3 concept would integrate both the aircraft and shipboard systems. The Navy selected IBM Federal Systems to be the prime systems integrator. The SH-2 was not large enough to carry the LAMPS MK-3 avionics, the Navy also looked at helicopters being produced by Bell, Cayman, Westland, and MBB. Eventually, the Navy selected Sikorsky's S-70B design, which was designated SH-60B Seahawk. The U.S. Navy uses the H-60 airframe under the model designations SH-60B, SH-60F, HH-60H, MH-60R, and MH-60S. The SH-60B helicopter entered operational service in 1984, with first deployment in 1985. The main changes were corrosion protection and more powerful T-700 engines. The munitions carried include the MK-46, MK-50, or Mark 54 lightweight torpedo, AGM-114 Hellfire missile, and an optional nose-mounted FLIR turret. The SH-60F helicopter entered service in 1987 as a replacement for the SH-3 Sea King. The helicopter hunted submarines with its AQS-13F dipping sonar and carried a six-tube sonar buoy launcher. The standard air crew consists of one pilot, one co-pilot, one tactical sensor operator, and one acoustic sensor operator. 
The HH-60H is the primary combat search and rescue, naval special warfare, and anti-surface warfare helicopter. It can carry up to four AGM-114 Hellfire missiles on an extended wing using M299 launcher and a variety of mountable guns. Thereafter, the development of the MH-60R began in 1993. It was designed to combine features of the SH-60B and SH-60F anti-submarine warfare helicopters. First low-rate initial production helicopters were remanufactured from the SH-60Bs, however, subsequent helicopters were newly built. The MH-60R was first deployed in 2009. Currently, this helicopter is used by the U.S. Navy, over 100 units, and Royal Australian Navy. Indian Navy ordered a total of 24 MH-60R helicopters. Deliveries commenced in 2022 and are planned to be completed in 2025. The MH-60R has improved offensive capabilities compared with the SH-60B or SH-60F. It has stub wings and can carry two MK-46, MK-50, or MK-54 light air launch torpedoes, two AGM-119B Penguin anti-ship missiles, or four AGM-114 Hellfire air-to-surface missiles. A single door-mounted 7.62mm or 12.7mm machine gun can be fitted. The MH-60R has two General Electric T700 GE401C turboshaft engines. These are the same engines of the SH-60B. The MH-60R has a folding main rotor and a hinged tail that can also be folded. This allows to reduce footprint aboard ships. Cockpit instrumentation and displays are similar to that of the MH-60S. The MH-60R, as well as all other U.S. Navy H-60 series helicopters, has a rescue hoist for search and rescue missions. For vertical replenishment tasks, it can be fitted with a 2.7-ton capacity cargo hook. For extended range, this helicopter can carry external fuel tanks. The helicopter has an integrated self-defense system. The last model is the MH-60S. The helicopter is deployed aboard aircraft carriers, amphibious assault ships, maritime sea lift command ships, and fast combat support ships. It can carry Hellfire missiles, Hydra 70 2.75-inch rockets, or larger guns. It's the first U.S. Navy helicopter to field a glass cockpit. The MH-60S is the successor to the MH-53E Sea Knight helicopter. It's officially known as the Nighthawk, referring to the preceding Sea Knight, though Sea Hawk is its official DoD name. 